Hi, my name is Christopher. And my name is Jackson. Welcome to CJKJN News. First off, we're going to dive into the Cru Cuban Missile Crisis. A few months ago, Nikita Khrushchev was looking for a friend in the Western Hemisphere to build missile sites on their land. He found Fidel Castro, and together they started to build 42 missiles. Kennedy sent a spy plane over Cuba to see what they were doing, and he thought that that was a major threat to the United States. So they surrounded Cuba with a bunch of ships. They called it the U.S. blockade, which used to keep the Russians and Cubans from coming in or out. Just a few days ago, a ship started to push the limits and got so close to the line that we thought we were going to start the nuclear war. Now over to Nick for advertising. Pick that up. You should be ashamed. America needs to start recycling. We are wasting trees by cutting them down. It is time for America to save trees for the environment. If we do, if we do not save trees, we may all die in about a hundred years. Our country needs to stop being a wasteful society. We need to try to conserve our resources and respect Mother Nature. All I have for now. now over to Jackson. Thank you, Chris. The Bay of Pigs happened in April 1961. It was an unsuccessful invasion of Cuba to overthrow Castro. President Eisenhower was concerned about the direction Castro's government was taking. Because of this, he put $13 million into the CIA in order to plan Castro's overthrow. But in April of 1961, the plan failed and was a big embarrassment to the U.S. On May 1960, the United States sent over a spy plane to Russia to, let's say, spy on them. This plane was piloted by Francis Gary Powers, and it was brought down near a town called Savid de las Russia. It was a very big embarrassment to the U.S., and President Eisenhower would not give an apology to the Russians, so that led to more problems later. In the late 1950s, the great two powers, the United States and, the Ru and Russia, had what we know as the space race. It went on until the early 1970s. The, Ru the Russians sent up the first space satellite, Sputnik 1, in the mid 1950s. The United States needed to top it, so they sent their own satellite. Uh, the Explorer won. In the end, the U.S. took the trophy home with sending the first man to the moon. During the Cold War, there was an arms race between guess who, the great powers again. But this time, it was who could build the most nuclear missions, missiles. In 1945, the Russians sent up, set up an iron curtain to block off any relationship, any relations between the Warsaw Pact and the NATO. In the end of the Cold War, the iron curtain was metaphorically torn down. And that is it. Tune in next week for more CJKJN news.